Hi guys, I'm Rita. In this episode, I will show you how you can reconcile transactions uh, what been added under your bank account. For example, through uh, once it's been uploaded through bank statement, manual upload. So we need to go to banking section, click on transactions, what are available to reconcile below your account. If you have multiple accounts, each account will have separate section. You will need to reconcile those. Click on transactions. And now each transaction which need to be reconciled have three options. Either it can be matched. Example, if system haven't found a, a exact, exact, exact match, you can manually match with one of the invoices added below or we can create a new transaction for particular account. For example, if we made a payment, we can allocate to uh, client's account, supplier's account, or we can make a transfer. For example, if that is a transfer between your cash and or multiple bank accounts. So there's three options what we can choose from. For example, there was um, order supplies online. So we wanna match with supplier invoice and for 55 pounds it's this one and once we are happy click match okay so that's been matched let's say no next one local shop click match select an invoice that's an invoice click match okay so there is another um receipt from business limited so either we can put an account or we can match to particular invoice so for 220 so if for example if there been um 220 let's say we have we are matching 280 so they send us 220 but invoice was 480 so if there is any discrepancies adjustments can be made by clicking here and it will give you a journal to enter to balance off if that like if in rare occasions there is this balance or of one or two pence that's how it can be adjusted there so okay I will click create. I will create a payment on business account. So I'll say sales orders, business limited and click create. Okay, so there is some of uh, non GB transaction fees for one pound. That's my money going out. So there is no particular supplier to select. It will be bank charges and create. Also, if there is non-GB transaction fees, there is multiple of those in an upload file, then we can actually create a rule. In that case, all the time when a statement will be uploaded and if rule will be met, the action will be taken. Uh, for example, it will be automatically posted. So rule can be created for a particular transaction. If an invoice being found, like in this case, there is much found, 400 and 400 amount it will, will automatically read that information and you can just click match okay so this is a way how you can reconcile your bank and post transactions on debtor or creditor account as well as post any other fees to um, your expenses if you have any other questions or require any further advice feel free to reach out to me also, if you have decided to start using Sage accounting software for your business, but you don't know how to and where to start, so you can actually check my complete Sage tutorial. I have shared the link in the description section below.